ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो वन चैप्टर टू टेक्स्ट नंबर फोर्टीन तस्मादेक मनसा भगवान्त्वथम पति श्रोतव्य कृतिता पूज्यद translation purport by shila prabhupad ki jai therefore with one pointed attention one should constantly hear about glorify remember and worship the personality of god who are the protector of the devotees purport if realization of the absolute truth is the ultimate aim of life it must be carried out by all means in any one of the above mentioned caste and orders of life the four processes namely glorifying hearing remembering and worshiping are general occupations without these principles of life no one can exist activities of the living being involving engagements in these four different principles of life especially in the modern society all activities are more or less dependent on hearing and glorifying any person from any social status becomes a well known man in human society within a very short time if he simply glorified truly or falsely in the daily newspapers sometimes political leaders of a particular party are also advertised by newspaper propaganda and by such a method of glorification an insignificant man becomes an important man within no time but such propaganda by false glorification of an unqualified person cannot bring about any good either for the particular man or for the society there may be some temporary reactions to such propaganda but there are no permanent effects therefore such activities are a waste of time the actual object of glorification is the supreme personality of god who has created everything manifested before us we have broadly discussed this fact from the beginning of janma dasya shloka of this bhagavata tendency to glorify or hear others must be turned to real object of glorification the supreme being and that will bring happiness the sense the bhakti vedanta purport so in this verse what should be the main occupation of the human being he is being revealed here we may think so many other things in life are very important to do to achieve to succeed etc but the bhagavatam says it is natural for those who are ignorant who do not know the purpose of life it is very natural for them to consider these aspects of my life my life my life means in this body these aspects of my life is the most important to take care of most important to nurture it is very natural why is it natural it is natural because such a person does not know anything about himself anything more than i am the body so how can you fault him according to his belief that i am the body naturally then it is very natural for everyone to to look into 
what is best for him so he will look into what is best for his body <clears throat> body means bodily life body bodily relationship it expands and then we have created a world in our mind from our childhood me my friends my father my mother my the society my profession my earning my enjoyment like this we created a world around us श्रीमद भागवत द मेसेज ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत ईज अबाउट द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड हु इज अ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड ऑफ एवरीथिंग हु इज अ क्रिएटर ऑफ दिस एक्सिस्टेंस हुज पार्ट वी आर by giving us this message none of these things which i told now are seeable with the eyes sir you cannot see with the eyes the creator of everything you cannot see with the eyes the supreme lord i cannot see i can see so many ishuras my immediate boss in my job one ishura like that hundreds of ishuras are there who rule us to rule us ministers chief minister prime minister these are all ishuras you can see but the supreme ishura param ishura we cannot see so bhagavatam is communicating certain whether we see or not he exists many things we don't see seeing is not existence you have not seen your great 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 grandfather but do you disbelieve that no i don't have a great 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 grandfather no you have not seen you don't see but you know he was there if he was not there i would not be so there are so many things in life we actually believe though we cannot see the seeing is only one aspect of the proof shrimad bhagavatam says that the supreme lord will reveal himself to us atasi krishna namadi nabavet grahyam indriya krishna cannot be captured by material senses by our senses because krishna is sachidananda he is everywhere he is sachidananda he is in our heart as a supreme paramatma super soul yet we cannot see him but he is there there is a supreme father he is there as the supreme father of all living entities even within the microbe everywhere in the heart of that living entity lord is there as a supreme consciousness who is providing that consciousness mata smritir gyanam apohanam cha without him life cannot exist you cannot be conscious you are inseparable every one of us are inseparable life is happening in this existence because soul and super soul is in the body 
Paramatma and Atma is there in this body. Therefore, it is running. So, Bhagavatam reveals more than what your senses reveal. Our senses reveal that I am the body. So everybody is in this world of I am the body. Because he does not know anything more than that. So by hearing this revelation, this is called revealed knowledge. And the highest of all that revealed knowledge is in Srimad Bhagavatam. So from Srimad Bhagavatam, we will come to know about ourselves more. Oh, I was only thinking on the body. And that is a stupid belief. Because one time you are not the body, this body. A day will come when you are not this body also. But you are traveling in this body. That means you are different from this body. Yet I do not know. I know I am not this body. I came into this body. I will go out of this body. Who am I? Then who am I? That can be perfectly realized by the process of Hearing first. First is hearing the truth. So we hear Srimad Bhagavatam. We hear Bhagavad Gita. In the pretend, present context you can say it is reading. Plus hearing from a live person. More impact it will have. Or if you are capable of reading Prabhupada's book where you feel Prabhupada is speaking to you, that is also direct hearing. What does hearing produce? Hearing produces knowledge, information, knowledge it produces. When I speak something, I am communicating an idea, I am giving knowledge. So when you hear, you receive that knowledge. You receive that knowledge. So this great knowledge about the fact that we are in this world in an abnormal situation of being trapped in this body, <clears throat> I being my inner nature, my deepest nature is not to die. So there is a dichotomy. Something in this body does not want to die. But the body dies. Something in this body always wants happiness. Body does not give that. It gives you sukha, dukha. I want ananda, but I get dukha also. In this world, in this body. So this is not my natural body. What is my natural body to always be happy, sukha? Ananda. I don't want a machine that grows old, ever fresh. When you buy something, they give guarantee, five years, three years, all time limit is there. Suppose they give lifetime guarantee, then it will be costlier. Lifetime guarantee. 
So what is our tendency? Our tendency is everything should be permanent. It's called Sat tendency. Now we are discussing about us. Little deeper about us as what is discussed in Bhagavatam. So we are Ananda seeking. We are Sat seeking. And we are also Chit seeking. We want ever fresh, newer and newer knowledge. We want to discover more and more. We want the discovery pleasure. We want Sat, power to exist. If somebody comes to kill you, immediately defense. Why? It is your nature of Sat, Sat nature. Even though you are thinking you are the body, you think this body should be should not be should be should not be killed, should not be destroyed. Because I have projected my Sat on the body. I project my Ananda quality on my body, and I I only try, I only want Ananda from this body, I only want Ananda in the body, but body delivers both, Sukhandu, momentary. I don't want only momentary ananda, I want ananda which will ever last. So my nature, the atma, that is atma. In this body, there is body and there is atma. So these things are elementary things which are taught in the Bhagavad Gita. In the Bhagavad Gita, first Krishna teaches, you are not the body, the what you are. And what is a discipline that you have to follow in order to awaken yourself, realize yourself different from this body? If not from body, what are you? Your pure consciousness, your pure spirit person, you are never a, this matter person. Spirit person is projecting everything on the matter person and living his life from birth to death. I am a spirit person. Spirit person Krishna teaches never dies. No birth, no death. It is always ananda seeking. So that spirit person who is seeking ananda, who is seeking love, seeking happiness, all that, can be fulfilled because we are all tiny persons. You are limited to your body, I am limited to my body, you are limited to your body. So we are all tiny persons. The Supreme Lord is all pervading, the Supreme Person. So our deepest quest for Satya Chitta Ananda comes, starts awakening when we connect ourselves with the supreme source of Asat Chitta Nananda. Who is that? Krishna. Ishraha Paramakrishna, Satchidananda Vigraha, Anadiradir Govinda, Sarva Karana Karana. That supreme personality of Godhead, who is a Surya of Satchidananda, We are his part and parcel, just like this finger is part and parcel of the body. This finger gets the blood from the entire system. If the finger is cut away, then it will, blood flow will stop, it will rot. So in this material world, all living entities are like the finger that is cut off from the body. That body is su Supreme Satchidananda Krishna. Therefore, this movement is called Krishna Consciousness Movement. What is our goal of life? To change my consciousness, not body. Body, nothing can be done. You are God according to your karma body. How do you change my consciousness? 
how do i change my consciousness of working how do i change my consciousness of seeing people how do i change my consciousness of relationship in this material world everything a change in the consciousness krishna consciousness so how to see this world in a fresh way by hearing from guru sadhu and shastra not only seeing we started with the problem i am dissatisfied with my sat chit ananda everybody is dissatisfied in this world if he is not dissatisfied means he is so much covered tamoguna they don't know anything satisfaction or dissatisfaction holy tamasik otherwise it is a fact that the soul is dissatisfied in this world janma mrityu jara vyadi dukkha dosha anudarshanam birth death old age disease adi atmik klesha sadi daivik klesha sadi bhautik klesha disturbance from other living entities disturbance from natural calamities disturbance from my own body cancer headache this that this you know all kinds of things the soul is very uncomfortable in this body the soul is suffering the soul is hungry for true love true affection true happiness true existence and the answer to all this is to we get reconnected to like a finger goes back and sticks into the hand i have to become krishna conscious or rama conscious the supreme personality of godhead nityo nityanam chetana chetananam there is one supreme eternal and there are unlimited tiny eternals we are all those tiny eternals this tiny eternal can be fully satisfied all this you would have heard so long so many times now the point comes how do i factually bring about a change in my life how do i change my body consciousness material consciousness to krishna consciousness how do i change it that change happens as it is said in this verse hearing about krishna glorifying krishna kirtanam what you heard you speak you remember what you heard you speak what you heard you remember what you heard about krishna and then worship krishna now this thing hearing glorifying remembering and worship worshiping is a fundamental principle four ways by which we can awaken our krishna consciousness simply it does not come you have to work for it you have to work for it first of all you have to identify that i am in serious problem i am not happy here if you think you are happy here you are still not made up your mind to gun and target for that supreme sachidananda krishna my target is beyond this life 
life ambitions, life things, these are not my targets. Those things as per destiny, it will go on. Material life should be surrendered to Krishna. Rest of my life, how my life should go? How my material life should go? I surrender unto you, Krishna. Because that is not very important compared to what I want you to do to me. Please wake me up and take me back to you. Then that such a person has become, starts becoming a devotee of the Lord. There are two kinds of devotees, Sakama devotee and Akama devotee. There are, there are devotees who recognize Krishna as Supreme Lord. But he is very much grounded in this world. He wants his focus is God to help him in this world with his material desires. That is okay. There is a second class devotee. Bhagavatam is asking us to become first class devotees. What is first class devotee? First class devotee is a person who looks after his real interest, eternal interest, not this body's interest. And he surrenders his body's interest to the Lord in the heart. My Lord is in my heart. You are the Supreme Param Ishwara. Why should I worry about anything? Sarva Dharman Paritya Mamekam Sharanam Vaja Amtam Sarva Pape Bhyo Moksha Shyami Masu Chaha. You surrender unto Krishna. Krishna says, Masu Chaha, do not worry, I will take care of you. Should I have faith in Krishna? And then what he should do in life? Okay, right now, if you see everybody struggling for the material life, tomorrow, tomorrow, if today didn't happen, that will happen, that I will have to achieve, I will have to achieve this, 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 like this, he goes on, and then he becomes old, then he dies. Maya is making a joke of every one of us. A devotee realizes this by the mercy of a spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada. I have been made a gadda. I have been made an ass of, I am making an ass of myself. So much I hard work, I say I should do this, I should do this, I should do this, I should achieve this, I should become famous and everything and everything. And finally, when the body dies, <clears throat> whom did you work for? That false ego? So many people have become heroes in this world. For some time they will be, if they are, they will be remembered. Afterwards they, that also, even memory will go away. But if somebody remembers you after your death, what is your benefit? You are gone somewhere else. Everybody will say Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi. Poor Mahatma Gandhi, Adi Atma is somewhere else. He doesn't enjoy anything. Maybe he will be born as another, uh, in some other body, with some other karma, and he will be attacking Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> what is this Ahimsa? Is over? What is this? Who called him Mahatma? Huh? Bhagavad Gita has a right definition of Mahatma. <laughs> Sa Mahatma Sudurlava, Vasudevam Sarvamiti. One who has realized Vasudeva is Mahatma. Same Atma will be speaking because he has come to Prabhupada. <laughs> so it's a complete everything. That's why it said. One should think about all these things. Yes, what is life? But to death.
all the things that made meaning to me during my life become zero at the time of death. My father, my mother, my children, my property, my, my uh, fame, everything becomes zero. So we have to recognize that there is a problem. This is the first step. I am seeking Satchidananda, but I don't get Satchidananda. My Satchidananda can come only by connecting myself with the Supreme Satchidananda Krishna. And there, as I said here, the principle is these things. Hearing, Glorifying, remembering and worship. It is these four principles that has been converted into rules and regulations of sadhana bhakti by the acharyas. It is said that all the rules and regulations of bhakti do this, don't do this, etc. are meant to make us always remember Krishna and never forget him. Never forget him. Our goal is to regain our lost relationship with Krishna. This is not a good example, finger and because this is a matter. If you think finger is a person, and this is a supreme person, that connection is bhakti, not blood. Here blood is flowing, so it is alive. Similarly, if bhakti flows between me and Krishna, I am with Krishna. Krishna is a Purna Purusha, he is a supreme. And we all have very close, it is not that we are creating some new relationship. We are all constitutionally part and parcel of Krishna. We have forgotten that. We have forgotten then, after being forgotten, we are haunted with the ghost. The ghost called I am this body. The I am this body should change to I am servant of Krishna, not this body. This body is my instrument to serve Krishna. This body is meant to be utilized for something, but I think I am the body. This body is an instrument, an intra. How can I attain that supreme Satchidananda, pure Satchidananda, how can I attain? So as I explained, these four fundamental principles are converted into rules and regulations by the Acharyas. Just like we are following what Prabhupada has said, morning, get up in the morning, Brahma Murtha, worship the Lord, chant Hare Krishna, worship Tulsi Maharani, worship Guru, Take prasadam, offer to Krishna, take prasadam. If one seriously follows what Prabhupada has said in his life, material life you leave it, do your duty, whatever you can. Everybody has to earn something to make his living. It's a praraddha karma. That part of the karma you execute, leaving the results in the hands of the Lord, that is not important. Good comes also is temporary, bad comes also is temporary. Bad also comes and goes, good also comes and goes, material. So I should not, my, my focus in life should not be good and bad of this life. My focus of life should be to attain my eternal life. And for that, every day I should do something. 
because day by day day by day because your life is divided into days if you don't have anything to do on a daily basis for your soul's real welfare then nothing will happen suppose morning to evening you are only doing material life day by day passes 50 years goes away you are not done anything for you you are only done for your body which you are going to leave behind you are not done anything for you that is why maya makes us stupid and guru makes us intelligent prabhupad made us all intelligent give whatever due little consideration that you have to give for this body and bodily activities and bodily life and material life material social life whatever you have to do don't take it that is you don't live for that this that's why it's called praradha karma praradha somehow i have to go through that but my while going through that my main focus of life should be to attain self realization to get connected back to krishna and eternally solve all my problems of life so coming down to that you will not you may come to temple you may come to iskon you may come to temple on sundays you hear bhagavatam this association is very good but how fast you want to progress how fast you want to awaken your sachidananda depends on how fast how serious you are to give time to follow what prabhupada has told and here to follow those things first you have to have desire to follow yes i shall discipline my life very important if you don't discipline your daily life your life is gone your daily life becomes your life real life maya traps us by trapping our time so first determination should be yes this many hours i will give for my soul my whole 24 hours i am not going to give for my body because this body is not me but to follow the pursuit of my soul i need to keep the body and soul together for that i will maintain this body i'll do my materialistic material duties by remembering krishna but my main activity in life we will be getting up early in the morning mangalarti chanting your rounds very nicely worshiping the spiritual master worshiping tulsi maharani worshiping the deity worshiping the holy name hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare of this the most important of all this and then taking prasadam and most important of all this is what chanting and kirtan chanting and kirtan hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare we are not alone in this journey to achieve our sachidananda consciousness we are not alone in our journey to achieve krishna consciousness you have your greatest friend suhurdam sarvabhutanam the lord krishna himself is sitting in your heart you only have to show your sincerity and all assistance you will get from the lord inspiration you will get from him 
intelligence you'll get from him. Mental strength you will get from him. Because discipline means tapasya. I had to follow, I had to get up in the morning, I had to follow, because you have to work against your old conditioning. So this is, this is sometimes very easily said, morning get up, do this, do this, do this, all this thing, go read Bhagavatam, hear Bhagavatam, chant 16 rounds, all this. In terms of making a statement, what I should do in five minutes, I can say, over. But to follow that, it may take five decades. Knowing is not equal to doing. Knowing is not equal to living. Many times you are very happy. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know what is Bhakti Yoga. <laughs> I know what is soulful Japa. It is like walking into a mango garden and counting how many ripe mangoes are there, how many raw mangoes are there, how many mango trees are there. Yeah, I know this mango, mango garden, I know. Not eaten one mango also. <laughs> this is an analytical knowledge. Have you touched Krishna? Can you? Every chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, is touching Krishna. How much you have touched Krishna? Everything that Prabhupada has told what all we should do is a variety of ways of touching Krishna. Harinam is one way. Kalikale, Nama Rupe, Krishna Vatara is one way. Prasadam is another way of touching Krishna because everything is consciousness. Prasadam is all consciousness. It is a chinmaya, consciousness. Ordinary food is not conscious. Krishna's consciousness is there in the prasadam. Krishna's consciousness is there in his name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Otherwise, how? Consciousness cannot change without another consciousness. I am consciousness. I am not the body, I am consciousness. As I said, we have to change our consciousness to Krishna consciousness. So if Krishna doesn't touch my consciousness, how my consciousness will change to Krishna consciousness? Very scientifically you can think. So more effectively I associate with Krishna. Just like you put iron in the fire. The iron becomes hot due to the association of the fire. And the iron becomes red hot. Fire like. Similarly when we associate with Krishna my consciousness becomes Krishna like. Krishna is Pavitram. Completely pure. We will also become pavitra. Pure. Just like iron becomes red hot. The same way. In our case, red hot means Satchidanand. Krishna is the fire of Satchidanand. So how to change my consciousness to Krishna consciousness is, is, is a, there is a definite science behind it. Understand it. Then that science has been converted into technology by the Acharyas. Means you do this, you do this, you get the results. That science is converted into technology. Chant 16 rounds, soulfully chant, hear attentively.
hear the glories of the lord yuga after yuga whatever wonderful leelas he has performed on this earth that is in bhagavatam matsya purana and, and uh, vayu purana says the lord ramachandra appeared in treta yuga not this treta yuga there are many satya yuga treta yuga dwapara yuga kali yuga satya yuga treta yuga dwapara yuga kali yuga like this in in, in brahma's day there are 1000 maha yugas this one four yugas are called chatur yuga so lord ramachandra appeared in the 24th chatur yuga we are now in the 28th chatur yuga one chatur yuga is 4.32 million years one chatur yuga so 25th 26th 27th 28th so you take this now we are in 28th kali yuga so 28th so four chatur yugas are over till dwapara yuga till treta yuga of this which means 4.32 million into four times Four point three two into four times, almost seventeen million, eighteen million, eighteen point two million, or something. Plus you add Treta Yuga, Treta Yuga to Treta Yuga is four Chatur Yuga. Then you add Dwapara Yuga duration, some eight lakh something. You add all that, it comes to eighteen point two million years back. Lord Ramachandra appeared. Even today. he is famous even today so is he ordinary he is eternal rama consciousness is eternal krishna consciousness is eternal krishna is eternal rama is eternal even in this world if you compare like that we are contemporaries of krishna only 5000 years back and when did lord rama appear 18.2 million years before and exactly where he is born he is known today till today this is the meaning of eternal our lives all will be forgotten body is already gone the very same form of lord ramachandra is being worshiped today <laughs> our name is gone our fame is gone our body is gone everything is gone once you become connected to krishna your eternal not only god is eternal his devotees are also eternal like narada eternal all the associates of lord rama hanuman eternal similarly so how foolish it is to live for one life accidentally born due to my karma in one family <laughs> i have no choice i have to call who are given birth this body father mother appa amma Did you have any choice? Who is your papa? Who is your mama? No. Real supreme father is Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead, the supreme Lord. We are tiny persons. 
God is an unlimited person. What is the characteristic of unlimited person? All the personal quality should be to unlimited. Say you are a person, tiny person, you can be in one place and you can be in one body. You multiply, take supreme person. You should be capable of being in infinite places. In infinite surupa, rupas. Advaita machuda manadi mananta rupam. We are not talking about some, you know, ordinary persons. They may take avatar as ordinary person, Rama and Krishna. Human like activities. But their Shakti, their potency, they are omnipotent. Their names are omnipotent. Though, like ordinary human being, they performed leelas, human-like leelas, whether Krishna or Rama, but Krishna, you can see, we all know all the wonderful things he did, even though he was acting like a human being. How a small child can lift a gore than him. How he can expand into 16,000 forms and be with 16,000 queens in Dwaraka. So though, though he is being, being amenable to our devotion and he accepts our devotion to Patram Pushpam Palam Tavayam that great Lord is ready to accept my small offering if it is there with devotion, Bhakti with Bhakti if it is there he is ready because he is omnipotent not that here I am chanting Hare Krishna and Krishna is very busy. You wait, I will come. <laughs> no. Krishna, you say on the name, he comes immediately. <laughs> what do you want, my dear devotee? He comes into the name. And the devotee says, I want nothing. I want to go back to you. This way he chants Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. I have been trapped in this material life. I want to go back to you. You are my real eternal relative, real eternal friend. Only you can give me eternal love. You can give me eternal happiness. Your lotus feet is the only thing that can give shelter. So that Supreme Lord takes avatar in this world and of all the avatars, two avatars are most prominent and important and very instructive and very loving. That is avatar of Rama and Krishna. And just see, every day what are we worshipping? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Once in Hyderabad, devotees ask Prabhupada, this Hare Rama, Hare Rama, is, is it Balarama? Is it Rama? Prabhupada said, Rama or Balarama? From the transcendental science, we understand that from Balarama, all expansions come. So, Lord Rama is also Balarama. So, if you are in a Vrindavan mood, then Balarama is... You can remember Krishna and Balarama in Vrindavan, Vrindavan Dham, as it, boys who were playing, the coward boys were playing. But before your devotion as heart is purified so much to feel Krishna and Balram's wonderful leelas in Vrindavan, you meditate on the wonderful leelas of Krishna and Lord Ramachandra. 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे टू मोस्ट वंडरफुल अद्वैत मच्छुत मना कृष्णा इज रामा रामा इज कृष्ण दे नॉट डिफरेंट इन रामा ई शोज इन सेल्फ अप इन अ पर्टिकुलर वे लीलास इन कृष्णा ई शोज इन सेल्फ अप बिकॉज ईज पूर्ण ई कैन शो इन सेल्फ अप पार्ट ऑफ इट part of his personality everything about his personality he may not show that is lord ramachandra but it is the same krishna both are hari hari means supreme personality of godhead hari has got advaitam achyutam anadi ananta roopam among all them अद्वैत अच्युत अनादि अनंत रूपम आद्यम पुराण पुरुषम नव यौवन चेदेश दुर्लभ मधुर्लभ आत्म भक्त गोविंद आदिपुरुषम तम अहम भजा मे दि आदि पुरुष हरि इज कृष्ण गोविंद आदिपुरुषम तम अहम भजा इज रिवील बै चैतन्य महाप्रभु बट इट इज ऑल ऑल आर हरि therefore hari bhakti hari nama worship is the solution for us to rejoin ourselves with krishna with the supreme lord any questions okay summarizing hari krishna prabhu that one minute one minute let me summarize bottom line is after hearing you should practice manage your time otherwise every day spend time take guidance from devotees prabhupadas given instruction how you should design your life please design your life in a disciplined way so that you capture that much time for your soul don't simply vaguely live that is called bhakti sadhana bhakti we teach here sadhana bhakti we not simply teach you philosophy the fruits of that philosophy how to achieve that also we are teaching here simply don't accumulate knowledge 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 always tell yourself how to how to minimize the gap between knowing and doing i know so many things but i am not doing it let me start doing things that i know so for that first thing is you have to write your time table daily time sadhana bhakti from time i get up forget about other time table of your material life but at least this much time i should i should be able to chant my 16 rounds i should be able to worship krishna dt i should be able to do some at least 10 minutes kirtan japa is fine but 10 minutes kirtan if you are even if you are alone put a recording kirtan that kirtan is you can do guru puja is kirtan samsara dava singing is kirtan tulsi puja is puja is kirtan you will see day after day it adds up and your life will become blissful knowledgeable and spiritually very powerful hare krishna yes question hare krishna prabhu dandavat prana yeah. uh, why we should chant the holy name prabhu why we should chant we should chant the holy name of the lord because the holy name of the lord is krishna's avatar krishna himself and that is revealed in the scriptures kalikale nama rupe krishna avatara krishna has descended it is not a ordinary sound it is a spiritual sound golokera premadana hari nama sankirtana it is not a small consciousness 
like I am a small con- or a tiny consciousness. Krishna is not a tiny consciousness. Krishna is infinite consciousness. That means infinite chinmaya shabdha. Chinmaya means sat chitta nananda. So it's an ocean of satchidananda shabdha. So when you chant and hear, why do you chant? When you chant, that surya of satchidananda comes on your tongue. You have invoked the avatara. And then what you should do? You should hear. That sound goes through your mind and hits your heart. And what you are eternally seeking, Satchidananda, you will start tasting that if you hear, chant and hear the holy name of the Lord. You don't need any philosophy, nothing. Prabhupada has repeatedly told you. Maybe you do not even know who is Krishna at all. Somebody in the North Pole. You have not heard about Krishna, Rama, India, nothing. If he starts chanting and hearing, his consciousness will change to Satchidananda consciousness. Almost, this is the same thing that Prabhupada did miracle in America. American did not know anything about Krishna, Rama, God, Hindu, culture, nothing they knew. How did their consciousness awaken? From childhood, they never learned Mahabharata, Ramayana, they never heard who is Krishna, Rama. But they chanted Hare Krishna. Their consciousness changed. How do you know their consciousness changed? You see, when consciousness changes, consciousness becomes pure. When it becomes pure, you will be able to follow no intoxication, no meat eating, no illicit sex, no gambling. Because these all become tasteless. They become tasteless. Why it becomes tasteless? Because consciousness taste is higher. Remembering Krishna's, that taste is much higher. The shelter of Krishna, Nama, is so tasty to the consciousness. But that is, that is a, that, it is a reality that you should chant Hare Krishna because it will satisfy your innermost quest for perfect existence, knowledge and bliss. Hare Krishna. Yes. Hare Krishna Prabhu. So who should, uh, who should chant Hare Krishna Mantra? Who should chant? Hare Krishna Mantra. Like Anybody who wants to successfully achieve what his heart is craving for. His heart is craving, everyone's heart is craving for eternity, knowledge and bliss. Everyone's heart is craving for happiness. Everyone's heart is craving for power to exist. Everyone's heart is craving for pure knowledge. Who I am? Who God is? That are the highest questions. What is my existence? So those who have all these questions are the best persons to chant Hare Krishna. Not only that, those who are not even aware that they are suffering in this world, that they are entitled for Satchidananda, that is also another state of consciousness. They are not aware at all. They also, when they chant Hare Krishna, their hunger for self-realization will awaken. That means, anyone can chant Hare Krishna. Those who have not 
Till now, asked questions in life: Who I am? Who God is? Why I am I born? What is death? All these questions. On chanting Hare Krishna, these questions will become very meaningful. He will start asking these questions. And this chanting of Hare Krishna will make him ask these questions. And what is the result of that? Further, the very same Hare Krishna will give him answers to all these questions. Not only the Hare Krishna will give him answers to all these questions, all the Hare Krishna will give you the strength, inspiration to achieve realization of these answers. So, everything is complete. in this wonderful glorious chant of hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare but we should do it as per vidhi anything any process if you don't do it properly you will not get the exact results if you do it properly 100% exact result you will get any other question hare krishna prabhu Uh, when should one chant hare krishna mahamantra the best time to chant hare krishna mahamantra is after long sleep you wake up <laughs> because your mind is fresh your mind is fresh reason being fresh mind is required what does fresh mind means once you start your day so many thoughts and this and that and that it keeps like a guna kala karma will be churning inside you and something and all will be coming in your mind in the midst of that hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare so one side you are mechanically chanting other side all this thinking is going on so that is not a quality chanting you are not touching unless the shabda that you chant goes inside through your ears into the heart effectiveness is very less as i said it is a science if i take a piece of iron and keep it near the fire you'll get little heat put inside the fire red hot it will come little far away little heat it will get so you want little heat from hare krishna or you want the full fire full fire full fire means attentively early morning before your days prarabdha the karma starts <laughs> finish your association with krishna <laughs> krishna will run your day your life will become smooth he will run your day externally there may be so many difficulties external difficulty is not not the measure of difficulty what you are feeling about that difficulty is difficulty kunti devi was feeling so many external difficulties but what she felt was not difficulty she was feeling krishna bhakti every time so she was asking let there be more and more difficulties because her inner experience was krishna consciousness so similarly our day will be run by krishna in krishna consciousness will be there whatever our prarabdha karma will come and go and he will give us guidance how to handle it best so the best time to chant hare krishna is early morning during brahma muhurta any other question yes hare krishna prabhu being a working professional i don't get much time so how many times uh, the mantra should be chanted on a daily basis you see <clears throat> first point is you don't get time you are saying it could be genuine also but very often it is not 100% correct also if you want you can grab time and find time for this but i also say sometimes it could be very genuine in the sense your prarabdha karma is so much 
keeping you working 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 no time and read bhagavad gita no time actually no time because you for survival bhago 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 no i don't read bhagavad gita bhago that will fall apart this will fall apart i lose my job bhago 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 this is called bad karma okay now how to practically handle it like a strategist look at your life how your time is flowing what ever time you can capture as you are which you think you are wasting capture that time fill that gap whether it is one round or two round or three rounds and by the mercy of krishna whose name you have chanted one round two round to the best of your time available that krishna nama will find way and relieve your life in such a way you will get time for three rounds four rounds five rounds then 16 rounds you will get time <laughs> guaranteed guarantee but you have to show your sincerity yes krishna i will though my karma is so bad here i can find half an hour here i can find 15 minutes here i am traveling i have got some time let me put ear plugs and chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare wonderful reciprocation you will see in such a way that very soon either you lose a job and get a new job <laughs> don't worry i added we'll get a new job <laughs> losing job is not always good as soon as you losing job oh negative losing job sometimes is good you get a good job where you will be able to spend full 16 rounds during brahma murta yes Huh. Even Mike. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Yeah. Like uh, Krishna was called uh, Sachidananda Fire, right? Uh, he doesn't need any fuel for that. It will be. He does like not need any fuel. He is a source of fuel here. <laughs> Uh, so far as being we need fuel like food and sleep like we sit to sadhana and we get tired after some time we need food or sleep uh, is there a way we don't need such fueling and we can continue this process you have to go back to god and <laughs> <laughs> till then you have to feed your body mind everything you have to feed and our acharyas have taught us how to feed the mind body senses in such a way that it will help you to attain that state where you don't get a body which has all these fuel requirements you will get a satchidananda body in the spiritual world such is the fruit of what prabhupada and krishna consciousness movement has to gift to one of us each one of us my own satchidananda body from this dirty stool passing body life after one body after another body after another body each time i am thinking this body is my sachidananda body you are thinking this is beautiful body what beautiful body <laughs> no don't hesitate to say stool passing body is it beautiful is a fact everybody is from bottom to top this is not my body this is not body this is a vehicle in which i am traveling i am sachidananda i am spirit i am not matter so that that sat chitta ananda is my real food my soul needs sat chitta ananda but now this body is feeding me asat what is asat means lies what is a lies i am this body 
which is a lie. I am not this body. But I am living my whole life as if I am this body. So I am living asat, jivan. Achit, ignorance, self-knowledge is not there, who I am. I am ignorant of my, of my supreme eternal friend and relative Krishna. And Nirananda, a life of Dukkha. Even the so-called material Sukha is a camouflaged form of Dukkha. There is only Dukkha in this world, appearing sometimes as Sukha. Very intelligently you analyze, every Sukha will be followed by with some Dukkha. Or a Dukkha has been followed by Sukha. Tapasya is a, you do tapasya, you get happiness. Tapasya is, a, is, 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 is comfortable. Tapasya is austerity, uncomfortable. From that day, some sukha has come. So, which is, this is a fact. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Yeah. Uh, Prabhu, I have a lot of problems in life, so mm. will chanting help me? One thousand percent. But you chant unconditionally. Let the dukkhas be there and don't chant for removing particular dukkha. Chant for removing your total dukkha of being in this material body. When somebody is ready to give you a billion dollars, will you go and ask him five dollars? So your chanting Hare Krishna is ready to give you a billion dollar gift. No need to ask this. But these problems also will be solved. Does a billionaire worry about his five dollar requirement? No. Similarly, when you chant Hare Krishna, when you surrender to Krishna, your problems of life will be handled by Krishna in your heart. He will give you guidance and you should have full Shraddha, faith that Krishna is handling it. Because you have your part of the karma, please understand that. You have earned every Dukkha Every problem in your life is due to your past papa karma. So we should be gentlemen. I have done papa, let me face these problems, but Krishna will help me reduce it. Because now I am in the path of chanting Hare Krishna, I want permanent solution from this problem. That is what Krishna is saying. Sarva dharman parityajam amekam sharanam vaja Ahantam sarva pappebhyo. See? Problems and dukkhas are coming due to papa. Ahantam sarva pappebhyo moksha ishyami. I will cleanse you of your past sinful reaction. Therefore the problems won't even come after some time. You will have a very smooth life. If Krishna wills. Because sometimes Krishna may think. Removing your material problems may not be good for your bhakti. Because now you are chosen. I want you, my Lord. Do what is best for me. If I had to learn attachment, detachment from this material world, sometimes these things are, praradha karma is converted into a benefit for us. Therefore, devotees never, they always believe Sukha or Dukha, I have surrendered to Krishna. It is all good for me. Let me go through it. And always chant Hare Krishna. That should be the spirit of the devotee. Faith of the devotee. But as a single line answer, there cannot be any, because the Shastra says, apart from giving Bhakti, chanting Hare Krishna is the highest Punya. You chant Hare Krishna, you have so many problems in life, 
even if you have even in the whole life you had problems after you die because you are chanting hari krishna you will become a devata swargaloka sukha you will get in fact devotees are afraid of that a person who really understand the power of holy name is afraid of that <laughs> i should not have desires krishna will put me in swargaloka i want to go to vaikuntha i want pure bhakti once this prarabdha karma is over you you not realize eh? what was i i was suffering so much now i am in swargaloka super happiness but that also punya will exhaust you to come down again i want eternal loka i want to go to the lotus feet of the lord i want to get reconnected back to krishna like this separated finger of the body hari krishna any other question hari krishna prabhu uh, can we chant without chanting back and chanting beats will, they, will that give the same uh, power of the chanting to complete the 16 rounds also how will you complete 16 rounds without beads by keeping the time by keeping the time yeah okay first of all the effect chanting is always all powerful with beads without bead always all powerful but how much i can absorb you see just like rain is falling everywhere on the rock on the mud on the sand everywhere where it falls it has got different capacity to take it similarly krishna has taken avatara in the nama depending on our attention our mind how we are attentive to chanting we get the benefit of absorbing that mercy that krishna is coming on my tongue with on my tongue so therefore we should not underestimate the role of beading bead bag it has got a great great role with respect to handling our mind so chanting is this called te- spiritual technology our acharyas have found out these spiritual technology and given do like this why cut there the technology will be the, the, you will get full benefit of the science so therefore at least you chant 16 rounds by counting bead after bead bead after bead there is a very big science behind it i can talk about it what all that bead chanting does which the non bead two hours simply sitting two hours and chanting lot of things you miss out so the mind should be engaged in chanting bead after bead after bead hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare one reason i will give you the hare krishna maha mantra in the form of the 16 names is a particular form of avatara that has come down who is receiving your japa seva if you don't have bead after bead your chanting will be hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare ram hare ram 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 head do not tail only for the mantra the mantra is mantra swarupa is what 16 words and whom are you worshiping in japa this mantra swarupa therefore the bead is very important to japa is not trrr. japa is one worship two worship three worship four worship 108 worship like that 16 mala the worship you are repeating one worship you are worshiping one person who is that one person who is that one person who is that one person hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare these 16 names have joined together and come down from the spiritual world so each bead is one mantra that's why it's called mantra there's a meaning why they have combined it's not one name krishna hare rama 
Neither can you ulta do something. Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. You cannot say that. It has to be Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So therefore, best is not to invent anything new. Nowhere Prabhupada has told, sit two hours and chant, that's also okay. No. He said, do in bead bag, bead. Any other question? Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yes. Why should we chant repeatedly when it is said like one glance is enough and also one moment of association is enough? Because you don't want to squeeze out benefit from Krishna, but you want to love him more and more. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. That is the meaning of love. When you love someone, you don't want to stop. So you have to train yourself how to love Krishna. Therefore, you repeatedly chant. One chanting is enough. Nama Chintamani, Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha, is a touchstone. So we are not worshipping Krishna for any benefit. We are worshipping Krishna as it is said here in this verse. Nirantara Dhyana. More you think, you love, let's say a boy and a girl, they love each other. They cannot stop thinking of each other. Okay, I thought, okay, forget you. No. Technically, I remembered you once. Okay. <laughs> so similarly, it's our love for Krishna. Krishna is my most intimate friend. Bhagavatam says, Sahurdam, Sahurdena, Atighadena. He is a friend who is very deeply intimate to me. That should be the spirit with which you are repeatedly chanting his name. So much that you are hoping one day I will get a life situation where morning till night, non-stop, I can chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> then my real love for Krishna is awakened. Any other question? Can you coax children to do japa? You see, you should give a nice experience to children. If you force them to chant, as long as they are under your control, they will chant. Once they become free, then they will not chant. So, therefore, it is, this is it's a fact. Ultimately, please understand, this is about bhakti. Krishna ultimately wants you to voluntarily do. So the parent's duty is to inspire the children why they should chant Hare Krishna, why Krishna is so wonderful, why you should surrender to Krishna, etc., etc. They should be able to, slowly you have to tell them. And all children like Krishna Leela. So you tell them Krishna Leela. So let the children see little Krishna video, animation. Then let them admire Krishna. And slowly when they become adult, they will understand. Krishna himself will reveal. And devotees will very voluntarily, the rest of their life, the children of the parents will chant Hare Krishna. So, Meantime, let them learn discipline. Let them learn discipline in so many other ways. As far as disciplining the child, disciplining the chi child, no, you will not take food unless you finish eight rounds. You should not do that now. Instead of that, in that eight, you do something else to inspire them. 
to encourage them that is your duty but parents always find shortcut west is what they are my children eh madu kutkolli illandre uta kodalla sari adu madidre sweet rice kodtini no not like that you spend time with them to give them association let them see the good things of krishna consciousness because child cannot analyze freedom is a key for the child if you cut down freedom and think it's not tasty i don't like it whereas if you inspire them you chant and they themselves take it up ah i will i am chanting four rounds i will chant apa i'll chant eight rounds not that you sit silent then you catch on that encourage them very good oh then tell 10 people hey he is going to chant 10 rounds four to eight rounds he will also feel encouraged so in a in a tasty way krishna consciousness should be served to children without cutting their freedom Yes. Yeah, it was completely transcendental experience having darshan of Lord Rama in Ayodhya. It was an enthralling experience because. you see when thousands and thousands of souls their devotion to lord rama their anticipation for lord rama to descend into this deity is extremely powerful and the presence of lord rama could be felt to that extent in the deity is manifest the entire atmosphere was enlivened with rama consciousness as i said it is consciousness it is not the stone temple it is the consciousness that is manifest in bit by bit every person who is here in every every indian in every part of india who have been anticipating that lord rama is coming not a small thing so it will be a that ayodhya temple will be a center of spiritual revolution in this world <laughs> then after some time krishna's birth place also <laughs> indavan chandradeya mandir is very close we will have a great role to play there if krishna wills grandara chimat bhagavatam ki jai jagat guru shila prabhu pad ki jai